Hello everyone, I am Sharpedo43 once again, bringing you all my first Pokemon Wi-Fi battle of 2018. This is actually going to be an OU battle, as usual, and my opponent for this battle is going to be a good buddy, Robbie Kazzy. Or at least I think he's my buddy. But anyways, um, Robbie Kazzy is a streamer on Twitch, a very prominent one, Does a lot of uh, streams a lot of video games and whatnot, uh, but he also does Wi-Fi battles, usually every Thursdays. Uh, on Twitch, so I usually go there every once in a while, see if he's battling and whatnot. And I actually did find him ba doing battles recently, so I wanted to challenge him to an OU battle because that's pretty much all he does for right now. And I wanted to use this team once again because yeah, this team seems pretty cool. Like I at least I thought it looked pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, um, as you can see, Robbie Kazzy. This is like the first battle that I have with Robbie Kazzy as well, which is also very very interesting. So what's he gonna lead off with? He's gonna lead off with Ursula, which is the Toxapex. Bruh, what is Toxapex doing here? But anyways, um, yeah, I lead off with Greninja, and as a result, I can't stay in on this thing because, uh, you know, um, Greninja can't really do much to Toxapex unless it's carrying extra sensory, which unfortunately this Greninja does not carry. So, um, I go into Garchomp hoping he goes for anything but Scald, and he actually does go for Toxic. But this is just as bad, honestly, just because this guard jump we're gonna see right now is as he switches out into the god. <laughs> I forgot to mention that he brought this shit. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, but whatever. He's gonna. I'm gonna go for hidden power um, ice here, and as you can see, this guard jump is actually life orb. Why exactly? I don't even know. Cause like I said, I didn't make this team, but it has a life orb, and I'm like, huh? Why? But, um, and why does it have Hidden Power Ice is another good question, I don't even know. But it has it, and I went for it, and yeah, that's why this Toxic is really, really bad. But now, this, I decided to be offensive and just go straight for the Fire Blast, because the god is actually going to be a threat if I don't take this thing out ASAP. Because the god is a powerhouse to be reckoned with at all costs. And this grassy terrain, believe it or not, even though it can be sometimes, um, I don't know, counterproductive or something, um, it can be a bit of a problem in the sense that, well, I do damage, it gets HP back. I get HP back too, but because I'm toxic, I don't really benefit much from the, the grassy terrain. So, and he on the process is bulky as sin and takes a lot of hits for days and then gets a lot of recovery back. And the recovery seems to give him a lot more HP than I'm dealing damage with. At least that's how it looks like. But yeah, here I went for a couple of fire blasts. Thankfully, none of them miss because every little bit of damage I can get on the god is very, very nice. But um, yeah, now I'm going to go into Greninja because he went into Latios. I just wanted to scare him out, um, hoping he'd go for the Ice Beam. I don't know if that Latios is scarfed or not, but um, if it was, then damn, this was risky because he could have just one shot at me right here. But I'm going to go for Spikes here because I wanted to get these up because these switch-ins are going to be quite um, inconvenient for me to say the least. So I definitely needed to at least get some form of hazards up. And I, get, I got spikes up as a result. Here I hard switch into Magirna hoping he goes for Toxic again, but he actually went for the Skull, so I was like, damn it. Thankfully I did not get burned though, and I actually got some recovery from the Grassy Terrain, which is actually really, really nice. I'm not poisoned, so this doesn't get nerfed by a Grassy Terrain or anything like that. I go for Flash Cannon here thinking he'd switch out. Um, I was hoping he'd think I'd carry Thunderbolt, just because I think I've seen him use Magirna before, and I think his carries Thunderbolts. I was hoping that he'd think mine would carry Thunderbolt. Because I think Bolt Beam Magirna is, is still standard even today, honestly, so, yeah. He's gonna go into Lander's T, though. Like, he's gonna hard switch into it. And I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't wanna stay in on this thing. So I'm gonna hard switch into Pinsir here. Because I was anticipating an Earthquake, and if he goes for Stealth Rocks, I can send in Pinsir without taking any rocks. And then just spam return. Now, because now here, I just wanted to find out if it was Choice Scarf. And if it was um, Fly in EMZ rip me honestly but i just wanted to go for it another risk for the biscuit here so i'm gonna mega evolve straight into mega pincer so i can hit this return really really hard and i want to see how much damage i can do to this lander's t seeing the rocky helmet tells me that first of all it's not a flying emz which is excellent and second of all that it's a bulky lander's so yeah uh here seeing how it did over half definitely made me want to stay in and he just went for stealth rock so i was perfectly fine with that i didn't i didn't take any damage on this song on this um, pincer, and now here he's gonna hard switch into La Latios, which after going for return, I was like, okay, 
I, if I don't KO this thing, I can just hit it with Quick Attack afterwards, but it actually just one-shots this all. I was like, excellent. Once again, this Pinsir putting in the finest work yet again. Like, Mega Pinsir has, like, impressed me quite a lot, honestly. I'm surprised I don't see this thing very often, honestly. But maybe that's just me not battling a whole lot of people either, honestly. But, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um... Here I'm gonna hard switch into Zygarde because he went into Lander's T. I was hoping he wouldn't go for the Hidden Power Ice in all honesty, but he actually does go for it. So as a result, I'm just like, uh, I'm just gonna go for Thousand Arrows and hope I can do as much damage as possible. But I have completely forgot that this thing actually carries the weakness policy. It's cause like I said, this team I didn't make it, so a lot of these sets I don't even know what they carry. And I just saw weakness policy and I was like, whoa, damn. So now I can just go straight for the Thousand Arrows. I was hoping this Lander still wouldn't be speed invested so I can outspeed it and just go for Thousand Arrows. And as you can see, that was the case. Now here he's going to send out GNRs or NRGs or something like that. I don't know what the hell that says. But he's going to go for Flash Cannon. I thought this was going to take me out, but I just wanted to go straight for these um, Thousand Arrows anyway. Because um, rather than E-Speed, because if I do live, which I do here, I get to take out this Magnus Zone. So that was excellent. This was another risk, because I, I, I honestly, I don't even know if that Flash Cannon was a roll or not, but the fact that I lived that was, like, miraculous right there. Now here he goes in the Kartana. Now here I was wondering if this was a choice Kartana, so I just went for the E-Speed to get damage, because I did not want to switch anything in, because I feel like anything that I switch in can get two-hit KO'd. So I just decided to stay in with Zygarde, go for E-Speed as he goes for Sacred Sword. And now here's where I decide to go into Magirna. And now here I just gotta hope that um, this Kartana is not a Phytinium Z um, variant of Kartanas. Because if it is, then I think I just lose Magirna right here. And then I think that's the whole game. <laughs> so he does not turn out to be Z-Move. In fact, he just goes for another Sacred Sword. So I was like, okay, that's good. Because now I can just finish this off with an Aura Sphere. Thankfully, I did not get critted, because if he got a crit there, I would have lost my gear, and then that would have been the whole game. But thankfully, that wasn't the case, so I'm definitely going to go for our sphere here. Take out this Cortana, which is excellent. Now he's going to go back into the god. And now here I have no switching, so I just got to see what he goes for. I think here I tried going for a, um, I think, Ice Beam. On the off chance, he stays in and goes for something else. But he's just going to go straight for the Wood Hammer from the god. And take out my Magira, which sucks. But um, here the goodness is that now I'm going to send in, um, what's it called? Um, Greninja. Now here the reason why I sent in Greninja was because I wanted to go for the Ice Beam. But at the same time, yeah, I just went for the Ice Beam here. I was going to go for Spikes, but I did not want to risk this thing um, staying in. Um, staying in and just going for Horn Leash or something. So I just went for Ice Beam. But he actually does um, switch out and go into the Tox Effect, so I was like, damn. Now I have to switch because, like I said, this Green Ninja can't really do much to this Tox Effects. However, I do not want this thing to be setting up, uh, going for Toxics on a predicted switch, so I decided to go for Taunt here before I switch out. And also on the off chance that he wants to maybe go for Recovery, even though I don't see why would he go for that right now. Maybe he thought I would go for Extra Sensory here and take damage and then go for recover just to scout if I have it or not. But I actually just went for taunt just because I wanted this thing to not be able to toxic or recover anything. Now here I got my grassy terrain up and this is actually really really good for me. So um, I'm, I'm back to full HP. So here I'm going to now um, hard switch in the exit drill because what I wanted to do now was get the rapid spin off because I definitely need um, my Mega Pinsir to come in without taking any rocks damage because since it's Mega Pinsir now and not regular Pinsir, it's gonna take a lot more rocks damage. And I think with the HP that I had left, I think I even just straight up lose me um, what's it called, M Mega Pinsir after rocks. I think, but if not, I would have just been hella weakened. That who knows? I probably wouldn't have been able to one shot anything. Whatever doesn't get one shot, I just get one um, KO'd. Like I lose Mega Pinsir after one hit. That's not what I wanted. So yeah. Here, as you can see, you got the skull, got the burn. I didn't really care about the burn, honestly. The only thing I cared about right here was just getting the rapid spin off because I needed those rocks off. Now here, I was about to go for, to, for Toxic, anticipating the god to come back. But he actually stayed in and switched out, and I thankfully went for Earthquake because if I went for Toxic there, that would have just been a bad play. I needed damage on this uh, Toxapex so that way I can be able to, you know, get things going with um, Mega Pinsir. But I was uh, like literally in a 50-50 here because he could have switched into the god if um if I um if he predicted correctly that is. But it was a 50-50, so again it could have gone into either way honestly. So here he kills my ex extra drill, which is good. 
and now I get to send in Mega Pinsir, which I was hoping could take out this Toxapex with one Earthquake. And thankfully it does, so now I'm just like, yeah. And now his last Pokemon is the God. And as a result, I'm just gonna go for the quick attack on the off chance this thing is Scarf, which I don't think it is, honestly. Just because if he was Scarf, he probably would have stayed in on my Greninja. So, yeah, I just go for a quick attack and take this thing out. I don't want to play around, so I just want to take this thing out. Plus, it was safer move. And I thought that in the range that it was at, I should be able to take it out with quick attack at the very least. So, yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty close game, actually. Not gonna lie, if, if I lost Mega Pinsir there, that would have been the whole game because... I think my only other Pokemon was um, Greninja. And again, depending on that Bula, if it was Scarf, it might have been able to take me out. But if not, then I don't know. Maybe my Greninja wouldn't have been able to take it out if this thing was like maybe a Salt Fest or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be the whole game. Good game to my boy, Robbie Kazzy. I'm definitely going to battle him more times in the future just because I love battling Robbie Kazzy. And not to mention, he's a pretty fun streamer, in my opinion. He's that very very relaxed kind of person that just likes to you know have fun which is what i like to do especially for these battles just have fun not get you know like um over competitive and whatnot so yeah um i'm gonna leave his handles in the description below i think he also has a youtube channel now so if you guys want to check him out there um you guys can i think he's doing a i don't know if nuzlocke or just a regular playthrough but he's playing ultra sun in for his youtube channel so you guys can check that out if you guys want to you guys can see his perspective on the playthrough because you know that a lot of people make a lot of playthroughs but everyone has a different perspective so yeah anyways with all that said thank you all for watching this first battle for 2018 and i'll catch you guys for more battles in the future but for now just take it easy